Hey, history students, guess where I am? I'm in the library, but I'm not here in the library to look at books. I'm here in the library to look at, well, that, the archive. This is something that our Alumni Association has put together over the years, and I think it's really uh, interesting and exciting. And what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you, I'm just gonna shoot this video, I'm not gonna talk very much, and I want you to look at the video and I want you to think of interesting historically based questions that you could ask based upon the things that are here. Remember, a good historically based question is one which is of interest to the researcher, like it's something you're actually interested in. It is something that is researchable, something you could actually find out more information about it and is also something um, which is likely to have different points of view. So in other words, um, you know, here under that faculty sign, there's a picture of a man and you could ask, well, who is that? That's not, it is a historically based question, but it's a simple fact and it's just something we could look up. In fact, we can go a little closer and look up who he is. He is Dr. John. Azeltine, the longest tenured principal in San Diego High School history, serving more than a quarter of a century. He also served concurrently as the San Diego City College Director President from 48 to 54. He was 31 when he was appointed to the San Diego High School principal. So he was principal from 1927 to 1954. And I think you guys know your history well enough to know some things that happened in that time period. Um, well, World War II, for instance. My dad graduated high school in that time period. He graduated in 1941, went to college, and that was when Pearl Harbor happened. And he volunteered for the Army in the summer of 42 and spent the next four years trying, well, not to die, as I've said in the past. So how did World War II affect San Diego High School? would be maybe one historical question. Ooh, what's in here? This book seems very fragile. Published in 1936. history of San Diego High up to 1936 and it cost $25. That's a lot of money back then. Yeah. Just remember, think to yourself, historically based questions. Not that you could answer from here by itself, but simply something that strikes you as interesting that you could ask a question about, maybe several questions. Oh, what's all this?
Sade was my student back in the day. So I'm going to be taking you to a few more places. And I'm going to be asking you largely the same question. Based upon the evidence that you see in front of you, what are some historically based questions you could ask? Take you one more string of pictures. But there's the books. We'll get to the books later. Old gray castle years. Look at the trolley. A blimp. Gray Castle. Girls basketball. We often think of women's sports starting with Title IX, and they didn't. Uh, they existed before Title IX. Title IX, which passed, I think, in 1969 just ensured that equal funding was given to women's sports. Um, but women's sports, you can see here, existed more than 100 years ago at San Diego High. And yeah. So in here, on another day, I'll take you into the archive uh, that they have in there where there are things that are not on display. But I hope you found this little trip interesting. I'll be interested to see what questions you came up with. See you soon.